Hey there. I decided to illustrate one of my favorite moments from the life of St. Moses the Ethiopian. First things first, gotta stay hydrated. Then awkwardly try to find a place to put the bottle down. That's not directly in front of the camera. All right, let's check the source material. I have made the mistake of drawing a story from memory and got all the details wrong. We know the life of St. Moses from the writings of Palladius, a disciple of St. John Chrysostom. If you don't know, Moses is a mobster turned monk, leaving behind a life of crime for a life of repentance in the Egyptian desert. First, I start with rapid fire sketches to nail composition. In this story, he's being attacked by the demon of fornication. It gets so bad, poor Moses can't stay in his cell anymore. He goes off to his spiritual guide, Abba Isidore, and asks him for help. He takes him to the second level of his cell and asks him to look to the left, where he sees legions of demons and gets scared. And then Abba Isidore asks him to look to the right, where he sees countless angels. Abba Isidore tells him to notice that the angels are far more than the demons and reminds him of the verse in 2 Kings 6.16, those who are with us are more than those against us. Going through a few sketches, I tried to draw them in the cell with angels and demons flanking from both sides, but I felt like that composition is far too impersonal. The expression of anxiety on St. Moses' face and calm determination on Abba Isidore's is too important. But then you get close and you risk not showing the legions of demons an army of angels. Stuck between a rock and a hard place, I choose to forego the detail of them being in a cell and went for a far composition instead to also emphasize how large and built Moses was compared to Abba Isidore. After that, I drew the final design in blue pencil. You're hardly able to see it, but trust me, it's good. I also pause to make sure that it looks like my other illustrations of St. Moses. Next up are the inks, and for that I use my trusty Micron pens. I made sure Moses has a look of worry as he focuses on the demonic legions on the left. In the story, he didn't even want to return to his cell alone, as he was afraid of the lustful thoughts that he was attacked with. Beside him I drew Abba Isidore, gripping him strongly from his shoulder and pointing towards the angels. I chose to draw the angels and demons on a separate page so I can focus a little and get the details right. Now, that's just... Move into Photoshop to start laying flat colors. Combining the angels and demons and sizing them appropriately, I wanted to make sure the side with the angels is the main light source and that it's more radiant than the left side. Aside from the extremes of light and darkness, I tried to go for muted colors everywhere else to show the contrast more in the right versus left sides. I was keen to make this as close to a poster as possible, so I chose the text to be in the center at the top and very clear, almost the first thing you'll see. Spent a few hours shading, And that's it.
I'm quite happy with this piece. Maybe the one thing I'd improve if I revisit the story again is to draw many more demons and a lot more angels to add scale to it. If you love this story as much as I do and would like a constant reminder of it, head over to the Creative Orthodox store and buy a print. Thanks for watching.